Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 22nd of 2021. Well, it is titled Markarian's chain. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a group of galaxies and we see them stretching from near the center at the bottom up towards the upper right. And this was seen as a great string of galaxies. And this happens to be near the center of the Virgo cluster of galaxies, which is a large cluster of galaxies with a couple of thousand galaxies within it. Now we see a couple of galaxies uh, down below uh, the two lower ones that look uh, relatively bland, just kind of like a spherical blob are actually what are known as lenticular galaxies. And those are galaxies that have properties of both spirals and ellipticals. They are like spiral galaxies in that they are flattened into a disk, but they have the property of an elliptical galaxy that they don't have any dust or gas or star formation. And we can see that when we look at them because we don't see any of the blue color associated with star formation that we're used to seeing in spiral galaxies and that we can see in some of the spiral galaxies within this chain. In fact, just to the left and to the right of these galaxies, we can see other galaxies that have a distinct flattened shape and very definite blue color to them. That would be showing star formation. So that's a little different uh, type of galaxies that are called lenticulars that we see here. Now the uh, two more galaxies as we work our way up are known as Markarian's eyes and those are just about the exact center of this image and those are two interacting galaxies and you can see how the one uh, is all distorted and how its uh, structure its spiral structure is being completely distorted by interactions with another galaxy. Now galaxies interact constantly and especially within clusters when there are a lot of galaxies close together. We do see this kind of thing happen all the time. And in fact, it happened very often in the early history of the universe when galaxies were much closer together and interactions were much more common. And eventually the interacting galaxies will combine together to form a larger galaxy. And this is how galaxies have grown over time that they eventually collide together and coalesce into much larger galaxies. And in fact, the large galaxies that we look at today, all were interacting galaxies at some point in the past. And that would include our own Milky Way, that it has also been interacting and is continuing to interact with small satellite galaxies, and is actually on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy, which we will uh, collide with and we will have something similar to what we see here in about 5 billion years or so. So way off in the distance, but Andromeda and our Milky Way are getting much closer together and will eventually end up being some kind of interacting galaxy that might be observed by a distant astronomer billions of years from now. So that was our picture of the day for May the 22nd of 2021. It was titled Markarian's Chain. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the galaxy tree. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.